Moving Worlds, before we get into your newest program, just kind of catch up everybody, tell us what you do. Sure, so a platform that helps people volunteer their skills around the world, either on their own time or through corporate or university sponsored programs. So it's a, kind of like a fun vacation while you're doing good things around the world? Yeah, I'd say maybe with even a little bit more intention, right, of like really trying to help people figure out the best place around the world where they can use their skills and putting them into like a pretty full-time style project around there. And I think that's where we kind of deviate from maybe some of the more traditional like volunteerism model into like we'll kind of call it a, a short-term piece work for skilled professionals. Like this is real, real skills work, real project, real immersion. And how many countries are you in now? Um, so uh, we have offices in two, but we've made placements in over 60 countries, and we've helped our experteering professionals, as we like to call them, go to um, or come from 30 countries. Wow. Yeah. All right, so you've got a new program. Tell us about we that. We do, and I'm excited to talk about it. So it's called the Moving Worlds Institute, and it's specifically designed to help people uh, who already have career experience transition into the social good sector. So, you know, when we've kind of talked, I don't know, over a year back, I think, yeah. right? Um, we really talked a lot about our mission, which is help get expertise to the parts of the world that need it most. What we've heard from our users is that I want to go make that impact, but I'm also using this maybe for my own personal or professional goals. So we just launched the Moving Worlds Institute, which helps people do that by still helping them find a skills experience, but giving them mentoring, coaching, and even curriculum around new concepts to help them build their own story in a way to get ahead in their career. So you might say Send them to Tanzania, for sure. Example. They'll still go, but before they go, we bring them together. We talk about human-centered design thinking, shared value, cross-cultural leadership. We connect them to an industry mentor with insights that aligns with their career aspirations. And then they go, and then after they come back, we help guide a reflection process so people can really think through that experience in a way, mm -hmm. and then think about how to tell that story to others in a way that might help them with their, again, their, their career goals. Who are the people who are likely to take advantage of this? Yeah, so we've been blown away by the applicants into the program so far. So a lot of people, I'd say 10 to 15 years of work experience is the average. A lot of people who are almost in mid-level management positions. So they have execution experience, they have strategic experience, and now they're looking for, okay, what do I do next? I've kind of made this good career, but I'm seeking more purpose, more fulfillment. And that's the type of person that we're drawing. Engineers, marketers, accountants, nurses, uh, the, the, the kind of diversity of people coming into the program is pretty vast. Wow, well, do they have a preferred country as to where they want to go, or they just want to go anywhere where they can do something? Yeah, it's interesting. Some people definitely come with that in mind, right? Like, I'm coming and I know I really want to work in Sub-Saharan Africa, so send me there or send me to India. Other people still don't know, and they're saying, help me, like, how do I even think about where I should be doing work? Like, let me even think about what classes I'm most passionate about, right? A lot of us, I think, want to do socially fulfilling and environmentally fulfilling work, but there's so many issues, so many causes, where do I choose from? And so we try to help people think through those different questions. Well, except for budget, what's the difference between you and the Peace Corps? Um, I'd say the biggest thing is time constraint, right? Peace Corps is, if my numbers are right, I want to say it's 27 months, two years in country and a couple months of, of training, right? We're flexible. The Moving Worlds Institute is an example. You can still work your full-time job and just go experteering on vacation or maybe during your sabbatical during that period. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is virtual programming, so you can engage in it around your own busy schedule. Wow, Mark, this, bit, this is fantastic. So thank you very much for coming back hey. and telling us what's going on. Yeah, pleasure running you at the conference. Then. All right, All right. good to see you.